Yes, George. Listen. It's okay. I mean, I, listen. I, I I got my hair cut, and I know this beautiful beautician that my hair looks fantastic right now. It's okay. Don't worry. It's okay. Listen. I want to thank you because you got me to where I needed to go. I respect you, but now it's my time. You see, I've been at Warriors of Wrestling for two years. Two years, and you know something? I was promised things. I was promised to be given the main event matches. I was promised to be in the posters. I was promised to have t-shirts. But you know something? None of that happened. Then out of nowhere, Chris Steeler comes with less than a year, a year in. And it's him who's getting the great matches. It's him who's being on all the posters. It's him who's on the t-shirts. What about me? Is it because what? I'm not straight edge enough? Is it because I don't have tattoos all over my body or have an ugly haircut like him? George, come January, Steeler is in for a rude awakening. Because I have something for him. I can't believe you're actually here. I'm over there, just, just trying to enjoy a beer, and I hear all this trash being talked. How long have we known each other? How long have I had to put up with all of your crap. You want to sit here and talk to your boyfriend about how everything was just given to me? You don't think over the past year, over almost two years now that I've been with Warriors Wrestling that I haven't worked my ass off for everything that I've gotten? For one year, I've been the Warriors of Wrestling Heavyweight Champion. Every single person that has stepped across the ring for me, I've taken down. Every single person. Name them. Follow. Took him out. I'm not impressed. <laughs> You're not impressed? Do you want me to? You know what? I don't even need to go through the list anymore. Because the past is the past. You're next on my list. Chachi, you think that just because you lasted, what, to the very end of the Ultimate Survival but still lost, you think you deserve anything? Think back. When I won the Ultimate Survival, I started at one and ran through everybody else. And look where I've look 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 where I've become. Warriors of Wrestling Heavyweight Champion over a year now. So come me and you. You wanna sit here and try to talk me down and knock me down? Remember what I always say, Chachi. It does not mat You see, Sealer. That I don't want to hear. Because on that night. I want to know, I want to know what are you going to tell the fans that night, that moment, that second, that this time, you weren't able to get up and keep fighting. You weren't able to leave there the Warriors of Wrestling Heavyweight Champion. What are you going to tell that to the fans then, Steeler? Well, 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 it is I, the man your mother warned you about, hotter than a heat wave and harder than Chinese algebra, the quintessential stud muffin, Joel, I always leave them sore, yet they keep coming back for more, Gertner. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Scotty Priest. Oh, I can't believe what a marvelous thing we're about to see. Oh, I'm glad I'm on this side. Oh, no. Oh, this is disgusting. This is Six glorious years for Warrior.
years of wrestling. But tonight, we took the glory. Myself and these gentlemen, all victorious. These gentlemen here came in and they, they decimated, they maimed, they martyred Pete Lombardo, B.A. Kid, Rude Boy Riley, Logan Black, and of course, the chair swinging freak, Balls Mahoney. Balls, sorry about your luck, but guess what? You have been saved. You're welcome. I, unfortunately, did not get my righteous ass kissed by Joey B, that little weasel. But Joey B, you have tainted this man. Hey, hey, try, not, try not to butt in while Scotty's talking. <laughs> you tainted this man because you were too proud to get down on your knees and kiss my ass like the rules stated. But you know something? That's fine, Joey, because once again, I have beaten you and I have saved you. So you, my friend, are now long history. Let us focus now, gentlemen. <laughs> on next month, because next month, we've got more saving to do. Pete Lombardo, even though we pinned you, that's not enough. You brought a chair-wielding, foul-smelling, foul-mouthed maniac to swing steel chairs at our heads. He tried to end our careers, so next month, we're gonna return the favor. Pete, you bring whoever you wanna bring with you because Scotty and I are gonna finish the job. That's right. Una de las cosas de que me molesta es la gente presentar. Como tú, B.A. Kid. A mí no me importa porque el próximo mes tú y yo vamos a estar Uno a uno, y a ti, te voy a romper la cara, pésimo. And for those of you that don't speak Spanish, what he just said was be a kid. Next month, you and my disciple Antonio Rivera go one on one. And like many times that are in the past, the past shall come back to haunt you. The past shall come back to bring retribution to Antonio Rivera for all the wrong that you have done to him over the years. And let us not forget, speaking of retribution, Daniel, what happened to you tonight? Ugh. I promise. <laughs> I promise retribution for this man, because next month, Logan Black, Deathmatch, the name of the game. And this man will be victorious and righteous afterwards. WarriorsOfWrestling.com See roster profiles of past and present Warriors of Wrestling stars Over 50 highlight videos of Warriors of Wrestling events Full length matches Order tickets to future Warriors of Wrestling events An extensive DVD collection featuring past events, compilations, documentaries And much, much more Only at WarriorsOfWrestling.com Having a friendly word with the ref. And I love me some demon. Here comes Sunny. You love yourself some what? I said, Sunny Day. Is that? Is that? Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! He just punched her in the face. It's just. Is that Jack Gallo? Not again! Not again!
the heart to hear to every single one of you in this building. So I say thank you for being here. Thank you to Sonny. Thank you to Jason Cross. And now we're looking at your official new Warriors and Wrestling Tag Team Champions. January 25th, Ludus Wrestling Center, Dirtbag Dan, it's you and me in the match that we made famous in this company, the death match. Dan's been weighing real heavy on me for the past couple months, just thinking, letting it swirl around in my head the fact that the guy that I'll be staring in the eyes on that night is the same guy that I considered a brother close to five years. You know, a couple of months ago, you decided to turn your back on me and piss on years upon years of respect and loyalty. Dan, you know better than anybody. You know better than anybody in my world that respect and loyalty is not something that's just given out. It's earned, Dan. On January 25th, the people know it, the promoter sure as hell knows it, and you and I know it, and we're going to war. Dan, you know me better than anybody in professional wrestling. You know that as hard as I can give it, I can certainly take it. Scars on my forehead, chairs, tables, lost count. Scars on my arm, pizza cutters, barbed wire. I'm missing chunks of flesh from my thighs because a referee in South River, New Jersey decided he needed to pull a barbed wire board off me as quickly as he could. But every scar, Dan, tells a story. And it's built me into the man that I am. And the man that I am right now is the man that you're going to be staring at on January 25th as I bring the absolute worst of myself to you. Dan, understand, this is not about wins. This is not about losses. This is about sending a message and my message that night is to make sure that you suffer and you walk away with scars all over your body so that not only will you be forced to remember the night, not only will you be forced to remember the place, but you'll be forced to remember the man that did it to you, Dan. I'm going to make you suffer for your sins on January 25th.